Here are three tech updates to get you through your Monday. MGM Resorts was hit with a cyber attack so bad it forced the casino to shut down a decent portion of its systems last week. Here's what happened. Last Sunday, the company was hit with a huge attack on the systems which left a lot of the machines in the resorts with a green screen, as well as took their websites offline. The company has had to take to Twitter to reassure its customers that while they're working on a fix, their other amenities are available to purchase. But like, do you want to use your bank credentials at a place that is currently going through a cyber attack? One of the resorts is offering free lap dances to those affected by the continuing outage. This wasn't just in its casinos either. The Borgia Hotel in Atlantic City, as well as the Grand Detroit Casino, are also affected. Although it seems to only hit some machines and systems and not others. MGM is stating that this attack is costing the company between four to eight billion dollars in revenue each day. And some workers are reporting late paychecks due to the internal systems being affected. Bills has been affected, young man. To date, the company is still trying to get their systems operational, which should give you an idea of the scope of this kind of attack. iOS 17 has officially launched today. Here are five reasons you should be pumped about it. One, Apple Standby. It's a new full screen view that provides glanceable information designed to be viewed while the iPhone is charging. It is very much in the style of an alarm clock or that of Google Nest Hub minus some features. The standby mode will support live activities, Siri, incoming calls, and larger notifications. Two, contact posters. These are very very much like contact images, but instead of just a little avatar, it'll be a fully customizable wallpaper that shows when you call other iPhones in your contacts. Three, name drop. This allows you to share your contact information and contact poster with another iPhone by tapping them together. Kind of like Android users already do via NFC. I said what I said. Four, live voicemail. This will let you read your voicemail as they're leaving it. It will live transcribe the message, and if you think it's something super important, you can pick up the call in the middle of the message. And five, interactive widgets. These will let you play and pause music, make calls and selected contacts, and set reminders within the widgets itself, so you don't have to open the app. We're getting one step closer to the full-fledged widgets that are available already on Android. And finally, Unity is finally acknowledging how stupid its new installation fee policy is. Here's what they had to say about it. To catch up, last week Unity decided it was going to charge per installation of the games which uses their engine. Games such as Tunic, Cuphead, Outer Wilds, and Fall Guys. Developers would also have to pay an additional Unity runtime fee per new game installation, which includes reinstalls and installs across multiple devices. It was because of this that game developers from these popular titles came out to show their discussion of this once free engine and how these new rules would cost devs millions of dollars and would easily cripple smaller dev teams. It would also further stymie indie devs before they had the chance to shine. It was almost an entire week before Unity took to X yesterday and said, okay guys, we heard you, and is now working on more sustainable models. They apologized for the confusion and angst against the runtime fee policy. They also sent out a follow-up via X that these fees would only be toward net new installations after January first, but they did not say whether these accounted for Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus installs. Even after their follow-up, the damage had already been done, with many developers saying that they will never use Unity Engine in the future. I think it's going to be a long time before the community trusts Unity enough to develop with that engine again. That's all I have for now. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back here for some more tech tea.